Welcome to my final video about how to finalize your ePortfolio for the Shenandoah Career Switcher program. So here I am, I'm inside of my Google Drive and I have my ePortfolio set up. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on my ePortfolio. And as it's loading, so you have your portfolio, everything is loaded, it looks great, you got your picture in. The last part in this is that you need to then publish your ePortfolio. And you might notice there's a purple publish button. So go ahead and click the purple publish button. You can see here, it's gonna give me a web address. So it's my full name ePortfolio. I'll leave that the way it is. Underneath here, it says, who can view my site? It says anyone, but if it doesn't say anyone, hit manage. And it'll bring you up to this screen. So it'll share it with people, but with the links is where we're gonna focus at. So I'm gonna press change. And it says draft anyone with a link, publish site, Shenandoah University. I'm gonna change this. So I'm gonna click in this box and I'm gonna make it public. What it's gonna do is it's gonna update. It says anyone in the, on the internet can find and open. All that means is that if you were to share the link out, anyone on the internet can open it. So don't worry about being Google search and your e-portfolio being uh, available right there. So really, we're just taking a look at making it public so that way anyone that you share this with is gonna be able to see the goodness that's inside of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press done. And uh, so if you wanted to request it not being displayed, you can click that box if you want, but you're gonna go ahead and hit publish. It's gonna say publishing, it's working magic. And all the way down here at the bottom, it says your site has been published successfully. So you can click on that, or if it goes away, like it just did for me, all of a sudden now you have this down arrow next to publish. If I click that, I can actually click on the view published site and it'll pull my site up live as if you would give out the link. And this URL at the top right here, this is the link that you're going to give out to if you wanted to share that with principals. Uh, you can also share that with uh, people in the Career Switcher program to give out that link. There's also some other things in here too. So if you may need to make changes to your e-portfolio, what you can do is you can make all your changes you can hit publish again, and it'll bring you to this screen. Obviously there are no, no edits, so let's make a quick edit. So I'm gonna add uh, my bio, oops, my awesome, oops, awesome info. Yeah, look at that bio. Now what I can do, since I made this change and I want, oh man, I already published it. Let's hit the publish button again. It's gonna give you a view of what is what our changes are and then what's currently there and you just have to hit the publish button again what that will do now is now it updated your live site so it's not like a google doc where you make a change and it's automatically there you have to do a couple steps so th this video concludes thank you so much for watching all about setting up your e-portfolio to publish to the web